Hey guys and girls, welcome back to Half a Shed. My name's Tim. This week, what are we working on? Well, a bit of a sore point actually. <laughs> Alright, now we got that out of the way. What do we actually have? Well, both of these appear to be the same model. So still 010 AV. I know nothing about them. They don't run. Well, that's about all I know about them. This one has a plug in it and there's just essentially no compression. That one obviously isn't gonna run right now. We'll strip that down, find out what it's doing in a little bit. This one, Has a little bit in it. So there's some hope for that. According to Google, they're a 37cc saw, two stroke obviously, and production started, was released in 1978. What year these are, I don't know. Um, they've obviously had a pretty decent life about them. They're quite dirty, obviously. They are slightly different year models, I think. So this one, the choke slide is on the top, heading across the saw. This one, choke is vertical, or that way, whatever way you hold it. Um, on off switches seem to be in very same position. And side cases are also appear to be a little bit different as well. They both say that they're, you know, 0 10 so I'm going to say they're roughly the same unit handles look fairly the same uh, Chain brakes are different. They're about the only things I've noticed so We're going to get some tools I'm going to get this top cover off and see if there's a carburetor in there I'm going to assume there is it feels like the uh, throttles hooked up to something We're going to see if there is we're going to see if there's spark. I don't even know if there's any fuel in it To be honest, which one's the fuel? That one I doubt there is, but hopefully it hasn't been sitting in there for ages. No, no fuel. So yeah. We'll get the top cover off. Have a look at the air filter. The rest of it. Pull the plug, see if we've got spark. See if we can make noise. I'll get the side plate off too. And as you can see, the chain, I mean, yeah. It's pretty rusty. Oh, cool. That's loose. All right. Get you out of the way for a second. Let's have a look at this. Okay, so <coughs> come on. That chain's that old, I can't even get it to bend and roll off the end of the bar. Oh wow. You're making me work for it. Come on now. There we go. Oh, this is a roller tip. It's a roller tip bar. Probably 16 inch, I'll say. Put a tape measure on it. Well, if it cleans up, there's a little bit of life left in the chain, but I don't know if I'd run it. She's pretty rusty. Leaks bar off. Nothing new there. Tiny little muffler on it. Get some tools, try and get you set up so you can see what's happening. We'll dig into it. That still seems to work all right. Not there. Wow, that's surprisingly clean in there. Fuel line's not on. Uh, that fuel line was just sort of chilling. 
Definitely some mud wasp nests in there. I'll try and keep it out of the shadows. We got some wasp nest down in there. Get out of there. Moving out. Uh, okay. Throttle's not hooked up. It's come off. And the fuel line's not on, so let's uh Undo the screws on the car a bit. Pick him up. Line's not blocked. That's a good start. What do we have for a carburetor? Okay. Alright, well, I am in absolutely no way, shape, or form a still expert. Nor a chainsaw expert. I like them, I tinker with them, and I certainly enjoy using them, but I'm not an expert on them. This one was, uh, let's just say, a good price. Or these two, sorry. So let's get the throttle hooked back up. And get the fuel line on. Oh, kicking goals, look at that. Seems as good as running. No, right. back down in there. Full throttle, returns, which is good. High idle works. Fuel line's hooked back up. Someone's been into that carby before. Uh, the top little top plate bolt um, that covers the diaphragm, it was loose. And so were the two lower ones. So, someone's been in there. Right. Uh, Look and see if we got any spark. Oh, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't done up by Hercules, that's a bonus. What do we got? Very wet. Very wet. Someone's tried to get this going in the not too distant past. Uh, very wet, very ordinary, quite foul. Clean it up and it'll run, but I'm surprised there is no fuel in this actually. No, there's not. Sounds over nice. There's carbon on top of the piston. Yeah, it's not too bad. Alright. Do we have spark? Make sure we're in the go position. Let's get you lower. See if you can see. Oh, spark for days. Set that back up. I can't see it. I don't want to hold it. I don't like getting zapped by him. Yeah. He didn't see it. Trust me, they're spark. A little bit better. Gave it a bit of a, a bit of a shot with some brake clean down in the plug too, just to clean it up. And of course, if this thing decides that it really does want to run and put back into service, we'll uh, be putting a new plug in it. It's funny, I was um, sort of in the market for a smaller saw. Having a fireplace inside, we go collecting firewood a couple of times a year. And Sometimes the big girls are just, they get a bit big and hard to deal with, so. It's nice to have a little one just for lopping up the smaller sections. All right, uh, that's just two stroke. It's actually mixed up at 25 to one, but I really don't think that's gonna hurt this. Just to give it a test. Wouldn't surprise me if this does actually kick.
let's set this video up better so I can actually give it a proper proper go. Again, she's quiet. Wouldn't surprise me if it had a bit of a. Wee, that was a lot. Wouldn't surprise me if it had a bit of a block muffler. Let's set it up on high idle. Clear the bulk of it. Come on. Nice. The engine runs. Clutch bell bearing sounds a bit funky. All right, let's put some fuel in the tank. Get a bit better light. And see if we can't get it to run off the carburetor properly. All right, I primed it just with a bit of fuel down the top. Put some in it. See how we go. I can see it picking it up through the fuel line. Bring it up on the high idle. Ooh, ooh, come on. Hmm, okay. Let's try that again. Is that bar oil coming out? It is. Well, the oiler works. So, I've got the saw running. As you saw. Huh, no pun that time. But there was a lot of fuel getting around down in there, and it just appeared like it was leaking more than what I sort of spilt when I was uh, trying to bottle feed it to get it running. So I thought I'll pull this carburetor, which looks suspiciously very, very clean. Well, see something missing? Should be a gasket between there and there. <laughs> it's not supposed to be a metal or metal seal. So I think possibly what's happened. No, I'm not even going to try and give you a hypothesis at all. No gasket in there that needs to be. So I'm going to pull the lid off that other car, off that other saw. See if the carbies are the same, and if they are, see if I can scavenge a gasket, because this carby looks pretty good. And it was pulling fuel. So the diaphragm, let's, let's not assume. See if we can get the base gasket off here without destroying it. I don't know. It is really hard to do when you look at through the screen of a phone. It looks like he might have put, I mean, it's got still stamped on it, so I wonder if this wasn't an attempt to get it running. Actually purchasing a genuine, genuine replacement carb, but then why aren't the gaskets in it? <laughs> How did that run? I mean, I don't understand how that actually ran. All right, let's get the lid off that one. Pull the carby and see what it looks like. I loosely screwed this back together. I, I just don't know how that works. It shouldn't have. Anyway, it did. I actually had it running. I wouldn't. It was certainly not running well, and it was. It had given me no tune at all. And the adjust mixture screws made no difference. So, but it was actually running. <laughs> anyway. Get the lid off the other one. We'll have a look. Actually, I can do it now. Oh, 
Come on over here. Come on. And, uh, same air filter style. Oh, oh well, hello. Can't make it up. Didn't make it up. <laughs> what are they like? How old are they? In not bad condition. It doesn't look that old. <laughs> Alright, how about we install some gaskets? What's that carburetor? That carburetor looks in really good nick too. Alright, I'm going to install those gaskets. I, I, I got nothing. I got nothing, but they're exactly what I need. And... All right, sure. All right, what one matches you? Should be, hang on, we'll get some brake cleaner. It's gotta be clean now. Don't understand. Oh no, okay, you're not quite right. It's a base gasket. There we go. Uh no. Oh come on now. No, okay, I might have got carried away. Maybe these Maybe these aren't the right gaskets for this carby. That seems like it should be close. But... The pins don't line up. So we're a little bit off. The center board doesn't quite line up. And then that pin there doesn't line up with the hole properly. I can force it on there, but then it gets all skew if. Well, let's see. If that one lines up with anything. I don't think it does. That looks like a... Hmm. Okay. This could be why. This is the locator dowel. There. Yeah, okay. I think that's the wrong carby kit. That's obviously why it's not installed, because it wouldn't be that easy. Well, that one's got a split in it anyways. Oh. Oh, well, maybe it wasn't a split. Maybe it's part of the manufacturing. But, that also doesn't fit. It doesn't line up with any of the holes. Sort of any way you put it, so that doesn't work, and none of those work. All right, back to the other plan. Let's pull the carby off that one and see what it looks like. All right, so I took the base gasket off the wall, bro. That, that was this one here. It's got, um, if it'll focus on it, we'll see. There we go. Nope, yeah, there we go. It's got a lot of impressions, different indents from where it was on the other saw. Uh, you don't Really, you really don't want to use something like that. That'll create a lot of vacuum leaks under the carburetor, between the carburetor and the reed valve. And we're going to try and put it back onto this one. So, that's the port there. So you line up your little pulse port, which is there. And that's, if I'm completely wrong, I guarantee someone will yell at me, but that's what activates the fuel pump. It sends pulses from the crankcase up in, which lines up with one in there, uh, up into the carburetor and those pulses pulse the fuel pump. Oh, all right, I think we might do the same thing here. I might pause you up, bring you back when it's in. There's just not enough room to see anything with my mitts. 
All right, we're in. So I'm going to do some very preliminary. I actually don't, I mean, realistically, I don't know that this carburetor is even supposed to be on that other saw. The fuel line wasn't hooked up. The uh, throttle cable wasn't hooked up. So, you know, we'll see. Throttle's on. Get full throttle. So on the high, I'm going to go about, or well, let's count them. Half, one, oh, okay. It's probably about a bit over three quarters of a turn. So let's go half, one. We'll bring it out to one, we'll see what that does. Low side, what's on your low speed? Half, one. Okay, a bit over one. Half, one. All right, well, let's do that. Let's get set up and we'll see if this one wants to run any better. Fingers crossed. doing it but you know I only have so many hands hmm might have flooded it Nothing tight with these saws, is there? Should have went through it. I didn't. I assumed it'd be tight. So I can get the other hands I can show you. That top plate just decided it was going to rattle loose. <sighs> All right, car be off again. Tighten it up. Still not playing the game, this one. So I'm going to check and see if all those gaskets that I found fit this carby. So we'll strip it, clean it. See if they fit. If they do, then uh, we'll install them and see if that makes a difference. Uh, this one doesn't seem like it's pulling fuel uh, properly. So there's always air in the suction line, and the clunk's definitely in fuel. I checked that. So I think we'll um, we'll pull it and see what the diaphragms are like, and hopefully they fix it. So I know it looks no different, but trust me, it is. The fuel pump diaphragm was not in there. Uh, and it is now, and there's also a spacer gasket in behind it when you look up on Google and the the parts breakdown of it. There was supposed to be a spacer in there, and also there was a, a gasket that was missing out of there, which was in amongst the kit. So that's all in. It's all there as per the parts diagram I looked at. Right, set you back up in the stand, and we'll see, see if this works. So I haven't put any prime on it. Oh, it's still on. I haven't put anything down the gullet. I haven't pulled it yet. We'll see what happens. It's on idle. I don't have a high idle switch anymore, so we'll see if it pulls fuel. Oh, don't use stuff up. Oh, come on. Drawing fuel. Pick that idle back up and we'll see what it does. So the kill switch doesn't work. See if it'll restart. 
So that was just a bit of tuning and dicking around off camera. There's no real point filming it. It's just noisy and not that interesting. See if it'll restart. Got to fix that. Oh, I would have flooded it, so. Still a bit of tuning work to do, but got to be happy with that. There we go. Leave it there. That was a pretty successful uh, bit of time in the shed. Uh, something that was going to get chucked out eventually, I'd say, to up and running. So we pulled, just to recap, the carby that's on this one is now the one that come off that. And it used, I replaced all the internal gaskets with the ones that were sitting up in that air filter housing. And yeah, runs. Uh, so I suppose, not that I'll probably make a video of it, but I might as well give this a crack at returning it to service this, this season. So I'll strip it down completely and clean it all up. Do need to fix the recoil and I'd like to try and fix the, the kill switch. It's not really a big deal, you can just choke them out. Um, but you know, it'd be nice to have a proper kill switch and I do need to put the high idle Stop back in that one's actually busted. So I'll pull the one out of that handle and put it in it and I mean, I think it'll be a pretty pretty good little saw just to keep in the four-wheel drive or whatever I'll clean this bar up the roller tips not It's not completely seized so a bit of WD-40 on that tidy it up the guideways look all right They're not sort of really heavily chewed out uh, I think it'll be okay. I know the oiler works because it was dripping all over my floor. Yeah, that one, I may do a video on it. I might, um, I might strip it down. I'll pull the barrel off, investigate why it's got low compression. Uh, at least being a steel, I can get parts for it sort of fairly readily, I would have thought. So, who knows? We might throw a, um, throw a piston and ring in it and bring this bad boy back to life too. Anything better than, uh, one running saw is two running saws. I mean, it does bring my total up to about six now, but you can never have too many chainsaws. All right. Well, we'll leave it at that, and uh, I'll catch you next time down in the shed.